Today we're making some delicious recipes, all of which are under two euros each. The Pickup Lime Studio is based in the Netherlands, so when we do our grocery shopping, everything comes out to be in euros. So every recipe we're making today is just under two euros per serving, which is about two US dollars per serving. And every recipe serves four people in total, or four servings in total. So you can enjoy it with a whole family, or you can meal prep, batch make this, store it in some containers to enjoy it for lunch or dinner in the days that follow. We also always try to make sure that our recipes are balanced when it comes to veggies and grains and plant proteins. So we've thought about it so that hopefully you don't have to. One little disclaimer though before we jump in, I fully recognize that ingredients are gonna cost either more or less depending on which country you live in or which grocery store you shop at. Everything we're sharing today just comes from the local grocery store that we do our shopping at. But more than anything, this is just a fun exercise for us to see which delicious meals we can make while keeping our eyes on the price. Now, without further ado, let's get started on making the recipes. For the first recipe, we're making a comforting, hearty and protein packed bowl of macaroni chili. First up, we're gonna cook two cups or about 285 grams worth of macaroni until it's al dente. Here we're using some whole wheat macaroni just to make it a bit more wholesome, but feel free to use whatever pasta you have on hand. While the noodles are cooking, we're gonna dice one medium onion. We'll mince two cloves of garlic. We're gonna peel and dice two medium carrots, de-seed and dice one red bell pepper, and then we're gonna drain and rinse one can of kidney beans. Now to a large pot on medium high heat, we're gonna add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. And when it's hot, we're gonna add the onions and garlic and saute it until the onions have softened, which is gonna take about three to five minutes. To the pot, we're then gonna add a 400 gram can of diced tomatoes. And then we're gonna fill that can up with water. It's gonna be about 400 milliliters worth of water. Just to rinse out the can, we're gonna add that to the pot as well. We're gonna spoon in two tablespoons of tomato paste, one vegetable bouillon cube, and a teaspoon each of hot chili powder, paprika powder, salt, and half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Then give it a stir, and once it's bubbling away, we're gonna add one and a half cups or 200 grams worth of a soy veggie ground. And at this stage, we'll also add in that diced carrot, the bell pepper, and the kidney beans. We're gonna stir it, let this cook until the carrots have softened, which is gonna take about five to eight minutes or so. By now the pasta should be done cooking, and in fact you might want to try to stop it just before it's al dente, because we're going to drain it. We're going to add it to the pot and we're going to cook it for another minute or two, along with three cups or about 100 grams worth of spinach. We're going to stir everything together, and after a couple minutes when the spinach has wilted, we're going to remove it from the heat and serve it up. This recipe makes four large serving sizes, or six smaller ones, depending on your appetite. If you'd like, you can add an optional sprinkle of chopped up chives for garnish, and here we're adding a little sprinkle of sea salt too. As if pasta and chili weren't already comforting and delicious dishes enough on their own, we've gone ahead and made it a love child. It's filling, warm, protein packed with both the soy veggie ground and the kidney beans. Pack away any extras that you have in some airtight containers to enjoy as meal prep in the coming days. The grand total for this recipe is one euro and 40 cents. And if you want to include the optional chives, the total comes to one euro and 50 cents. Next up, we're making a tofu Vietnamese sub called bami. We're gonna begin with a 450 gram block of tofu, gently squeezing it with our hands to remove as much liquid as possible. So we get our tofu from an Asian supermarket. We try to go like twice a month just to stock up on things like soy sauce and edamame and coconut milk, tofu, spices, because you tend to be able to get a larger volume for a lesser price. So that's a little tip if you're looking to save some money. We'll now thinly slice that pressed tofu into half centimeter or quarter inch thick slices. And to a shallow dish, we're gonna add three cloves of crushed garlic, two tablespoons of a sodium reduced soy sauce, two teaspoons of sugar. Here we're using raw sugar two teaspoons of sriracha hot sauce, or you can use another hot sauce if you'd like. And then we're gonna add a teaspoon of sesame oil and half of a lime that's been juiced. Then give it all a whisk, and once it's mixed, we're gonna add the tofu slices to it, gently coating it in the marinade, making sure to coat both sides. And then we're gonna let this sit to the side while we make some pickled carrots. We're first gonna peel two medium carrots, and then we'll cut them into little julienne strips, as thin as matchsticks if possible. Then place that cut up carrot into a jar, and we're gonna add to it half of a cup of boiling water, half of a cup of white vinegar, one and a half tablespoons of sugar, again, ours is raw sugar, but any sugar will do, and a teaspoon of salt. Then you're gonna screw on the lid and give it a gentle shake until the sugar dissolves, and then let this sit to the side while we prepare the rest of the recipe. 
To a large skillet on medium-high heat, we're gonna add a teaspoon of vegetable oil, and when it's hot, you can place the tofu slices in a single layer on the pan. You'll wanna cook this for about three to five minutes or until the tofu gets nice and golden and crispy. You can spoon any leftover marinade that you have over the top of the tofu slices. And whenever you're ready, give it a flip and then cook it on the other side for another three to five minutes. While this cooks, we're gonna create thin little slices out of one large cucumber using a potato peeler. And next, we're gonna get the sandwich ready. So here we're using two whole wheat baguettes. And if it's not already crispy on the outside, you can pop it in the oven for a few minutes just to toast it up a bit. When it's cooled enough that you can handle it, cut it open along the center. Traditionally, white baguettes are used to make a bami sandwich, which would also make this more affordable, but feel free to choose whatever bread you'd like for this. Once you've got it cut open, we're gonna spread along the inside about two tablespoons worth of vegan mayonnaise and two teaspoons of sriracha hot sauce. You're gonna divide that over the two baguettes. And then we're gonna layer on the cooked tofu slices. On top of that goes the sliced cucumber, followed by my absolute favorite, the pickled carrots. And for the greens, we're adding about half of a cup's worth of cilantro or coriander over the two baguettes, plus one whole chili pepper that we're gonna thinly slice and sprinkle on the sandwiches as well. The baguettes are pretty huge once they've been filled up, so we considered a whole baguette to be two servings, but feel free to have as much or as little as you'd like. These bami sandwiches are delicious as is, but the cherry on top that makes this oh so delicious is serving it with a side of hoisin sauce. It is optional, but I highly, highly recommend it. So for the grand total, four servings of this tofu bami sandwich, it comes out to one euro and 83 cents per serving. If you choose to add the hoisin on the side, that's gonna be one euro and 87 cents each. If you're looking to meal prep, by the way, you can always make the tofu ahead of time and store it in an airtight container in the fridge for up to three days. And the pickled carrots can be made ahead of time and kept in the fridge for up to two weeks. That way you can make a grab and go sandwich whenever you need it. For the final recipe, we're making a nourishing and creamy golden chana dal. I love dal recipes because they're really filling, affordable, easy to make. For this recipe, we're gonna be using one and a half cups of chana dal, which is also known as split chickpeas. So it's this larger sized legume, and because it is bigger, you're gonna wanna make sure you soak this the night before, that way it speeds up the cooking time the next day when you're ready to enjoy it. Now, if you don't have this on hand, or if you, you know, don't want your cooking time to be longer, you could also opt for just lentils. There's yellow lentils or red lentils. They will need a little bit less water to cook in, but you don't need to soak them ahead of time. The only thing is the consistency when you use lentils like these ones is it's a little bit more mushy, the dal, which is still delicious, but I want my dal to have a bit of chew. So that's why today we're gonna be using the chana dal. We'll get started by dicing two medium onions. We'll mince four cloves of garlic and then peel and chop a chunk of ginger to make about one tablespoon worth once it's been minced. And finally, we're gonna mince one full red chili pepper, reserving a few slices just for garnishing at the end. Now to a large pot on medium high heat, we're gonna add a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And once it's hot, we're gonna add the onions to it and let this saute until it gets nice and lightly golden, which will take about five minutes. Add splashes of water as needed to deglaze the pan. And then all at once, we're gonna add the garlic, ginger, and chili. Saute this for another two to three minutes or so until it becomes nice and fragrant. And then we're gonna drop the heat to medium. At this point, we're gonna add to the pan one tablespoon of curry powder, two teaspoons of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of garam masala, plus half a teaspoon of salt. You're gonna cook this for about 30 seconds to a minute to allow the spices to bloom, and then add to the pot two cups or 500 milliliters of boiling water, one vegetable bouillon cube, and then the chana dal that was soaked overnight. Just make sure to drain it first, rinse it before adding it to the pot. Then give this all a stir. Bring it to a boil, then reduce it to a simmer with the lid partially covered for about 25 to 30 minutes. You wanna check on it at least once or twice throughout that time just to give it a stir so the dal doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and burn. Meanwhile, we're gonna cook some rice. Here we're using one and a half cups of brown rice that we first let soak overnight. We're gonna drain it, add it to a pot with two cups of water, bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, and partially cover it with a lid. While everything is cooking, we're going to cut one cup for about 18 cherry tomatoes in half, and then we're gonna dice one red as well as one yellow bell pepper. This is a super versatile recipe when it comes to veggies though, so add whatever you have in the fridge that you need to use up, like zucchini or cauliflower, broccoli, spinach, anything works with this dish. Going back to the legumes, once they've been cooking for about 25 to 30 minutes, we're gonna add one can of coconut milk along with the bell peppers. 
Give it a mix. You're gonna cook this for 10 minutes longer with the pot uncovered. And at this point, you're gonna to start to see the doll soak up more of that liquid. It's gonna become a little bit thicker. And at this point, we can add the cherry tomatoes. Cook it for five minutes more before removing it from the heat to serve. Scoop some of the brown rice into a bowl and serve it alongside a generous few scoops of the doll. This hearty and filling meal comes to only one euro and 73 cents per one of four servings. If you'd like, you can add some optional garnish, which in our case is a drizzle of reserved coconut milk, a bit of fresh cilantro leaves, some reserved chili slices from earlier in the recipe, and half of a lemon sliced and served on the side. With these optional garnishes, the total for the dish comes to one euro and 99 cents. You can enjoy this meal with your whole family, or if you're making it just for one, pack up any extras in some airtight containers to enjoy as lunch or dinner in the coming days. It's an easy, affordable, and delicious meal prep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different than what we've done before with pricing things out. If you did like this video, if you'd like to see more like it, or if you have any requests for videos you'd like to see, feel free to share that in the comments below. The full breakdown to all of the recipes as always is on the blog. Those links are in the description box below. Hopefully we were able to share with you today that making a wholesome and delicious meal doesn't have to break the bank. If you did enjoy today's video as well, it always means a lot when you take a second to give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. Pickup Limes signing off. We'll see you in the next video.